Okay, good evening and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at here is another more advanced test setup that was uh, basically suggested by one of the commenters on the previous coil current video. Here's my little breadboard. Here's the coil. This is about 40 micro or 40 millihenries, sorry, uh, removed from a small relay. Uh, with wires soldered to the ends. And uh, in the video before, we just used this side of the circuit board, put the power in here, coil in parallel, and the LEDs over here. Here are two LEDs. One of them is a green LED, and one of them is a blue LED. And you can see that I've got the anodes of these LEDs marked with a little tape flag that says A on it. And this one says GA, so I know that it's actually the green LED. And over here, we have uh, a place where I can plug in a voltmeter and a 220 ohm current, re re current uh, limiting resistor and a place to put the LEDs in. And here's the voltmeter with the adapter plug so that I can plug it directly into the board. Okay. Uh, sorry about the light. <laughs> okay, so let's plug in the uh, voltmeter here, and let's plug in the power supply here. And as you can see, it's got uh, 1.81 volts on it right now. Right. So now I'm going to turn up the power supply, and uh, let's see. Get it up to three volts or four vo five volts rather. There's about five volts now on the power supply, and we'll just test these LEDs to make sure that they work. Here's the green one, nice green, super bright, and then here's the ouch, blue one, nice blue, super bright, right. So let me plug them both in at the same time here. Both in at the same time. Green and blue. And now let's turn them around so that we can see that uh, they do not light in the reverse biased. No trickery here with double polarity LEDs or anything. So let's turn them back around that blue and green now I'm going to reduce the power supply voltage until they both go out blue and green one goes out so we get a little bit below that threshold try to get it about 1.8 volts right there right now we'll go over to the actual coil test side. I have to hold this down with my finger here. So we take the blue LED and plug it in reverse biased, right? So the anode goes to the negative side of the power supply. And we'll take the green LED and plug it in forward biased, like that. So the anode, oops, there we go. So the anode goes to the positive side of the power supply, like that. And then we take our 1.8 volts and move it over to the test side here, and point the LEDs at the camera, and uh, plug it in. And then I'm going to dim the light so that you can see the LEDs flashing, hopefully. Now we'll unplug the power supply. Boom. You see a blue flash, but no green flash, right? Plug them in, unplug them, boom. Blue flash, no green flash. Plug them in, boom. Blue flash, but no green flash. Plug them in, boom. Blue flash, but no green flash. Okay? So the coil discharge is going in the same direction as it was when the power is on. Uh, it's not flashing the green LED, 
but it is flashing the blue LED. Oh, and just to make sure that the green LED will flash, I'll take it out, turn it around so that it's reverse biased again, and plug it in, and uh, dim the lights again, unplug, boom. Uh, I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, boom, there. You see there, they both flash green and blue when they're reverse biased. So the green LED is still working properly. When I take it out and I put it forward biased, there's not enough voltage from the power supply to make it light up. And when I unplug the power supply, only the blue LED flashes. All right. So that should be even more definitive proof that the coil current does not reverse it only goes forward when the power is abruptly disconnected from the coil All right okay so now let's go back over to the test side over here the LED test side and we'll plug in the blue LED forward biased and the green LED forward biased and now we'll turn up the power supply to 5 volts again and I think you can see that both the green LED and the blue LED are still working, still functioning properly. Okay, thank you for watching.